Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is to read an array and print its elements on console. Uh, you can see that the objective of the program is written in the first statement which is a comment. In second statement, I have included a header file which is stdio.h. Then main function, it contains several instructions in which first is variable declaration. So here you have to note notice that this uh, a of 10 is declaration of array. It means I am going to declare an array uh, whose name is a and it will be uh, containing total 10 elements. So this size is constant. I can modify this uh, size at the time of uh, implementation of program. But uh, when I will be executing this code, then I cannot increase or decrease the size of array. Then with the help of this printf statement, I am going to print enter 10 numbers on the console. So when this message will be printed on console, user will uh, notice that uh, that he has to enter 10 numbers. Then uh, if I want to read 10 numbers, then I have to mention scanf 10 times. So uh, I have used a loop to repeat uh, the scanf statement 10 times. You can see that this for loop is starting from uh, 0 and the condition is i less than 10. So as you uh, have studied uh, in my tutorials of array, that uh, index of array always starts from 0. That's why this loop is starting from 0. So uh, when first time this loop will execute, uh, value of i is 0, then it will check its condition, it is true. Then scanf statement will read a number from the user. That number will be stored inside a of i and i is 0. It means the first number will be stored inside a0. Then i++ will uh, execute. So it will make value of i from 0 to 1. Then it will check condition 1 is less than 10. Condition is again true. Then scanf will read second number. So this second number will be stored inside a of 1 because right now i is 1. Then again i++ will take place. Then this condition will be checked. Then scanf will read next number. So this process will repeat total 10 times. So first number will be stored inside a0 and last number will be stored inside a of 9. After completion of this loop, this printf statement will print a message on console array contains. It means uh, we are going to print the elements of array which user entered. So uh, again uh, for printing uh, the uh, for the printing purpose of array, I have used a loop because uh, I have to print 10 numbers and uh, for every time I will be using printf statement. So instead of uh, writing 10 printf statement, I have used a loop which will repeat 10 times. So again, it is starting from 0 because index of array uh, always starts from 0. Condition is i less than 10. So this printf will print first value of a0, then it will print value of a1 and so on. So after completion of this loop, all 10 elements which are available inside array will be printed on console. Now I am compiling this code. It is showing a number of errors and warnings 0. Now I can run this program. So after execution, it is asking about 10 numbers. So I am entering 10 different numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and after a completion of input it is displaying all the numbers which I have entered. So friends with the help of this program you can enter 10 different numbers and you can display all those numbers that have been entered by uh, you on the console. So this is the very first program of array. Uh, so with the help of this program, uh, you uh, can understand how can we read elements from the uh, user uh, uh, so that that uh, numbers, those numbers can be stored inside array and how can we print the numbers stored inside array. So implement this code on your laptop or desktop so that you will be able to understand the working of array. Now these are my contact details. You can call me on this number for any problem. You can write emails, you can visit my website. This is the name of my uh, Android app, which is TechMS. You can find out 
tutorials regarding C, C++, Java, Web Technology, Ethical Hacking, etc. There, you can also download these tutorials from uh, uh, using this link tutorials.packimage.in. You can read my books which are written here, and you can watch my YouTube channel for uh, learning of various programming languages tutorials. Thank you for watching this video.